Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about data types. In life, we deal with different data, numbers, text, and many other things. So we'll look into this in more details. The learning outcome. By the end of this video, we hope you will distinguish between the different data types. So you know numbers, you know text, you know object, and other components. Then how you apply the rules of, of naming data type. If you want to give a name to, to a variable, uh, a giving variable, what are the rules that you will follow? Then you will use some mathematical uh, uh, operation or arithmetic operation to perform calculations on the, uh, on the variables. And then we need to understand the sequence, which one has more priority on our arithmetic uh, operators, which one we do first. So data types, what is data types? Again, in life we deal with numbers, we deal with text, we deal with so many different uh, data types. And there are basically in Python three main primitive or, or, or the fundamental data types that are text, numbers, and objects. There's so many others like lists and sets and dictionaries, which will come to it. But they are more into data structure than data uh, primitive uh, data types. Where you store these data types or the, the, the values of those data types? You store it in variables. And the variable is just, uh, we've seen before, we're using things like t, which a variable, it's an object. Now we will deal with more uh, variables. When you look at websites and you register in any website, usually you will see if name, which your first name. If name is a variable that used to store uh, the name of a person. And it's of data type text. Of course, our names are text and, and uh, if name is, uh, is a text. In Python, they use the word string to refer to text. So if you hear string, it's text. Right? So what is uh, variables uh, in computer programming? It is a memory location where that data is stored. So the programmers in the past when they're using low level programming language like assembly and C uh, as well, uh, C high, high level, but again, with, with some more details into, into the hardware, they need to specify where they're going to store that data. So the location of that data is the variable. And it has a name uh, uh, like any other components in, in programming. But when you decide the name of the vari variable, how you decide that? Are you flexible to use any name? Yes, you're flexible, but there are certain requirements you have to meet. So it has to start by a letter or underscore. Underscore is accept acceptable in, in Python, but maybe it's not acceptable in other languages uh, that we use. The remaining can be numbers, can be letters, and can be underscore. But there are certain characters you will not be able to use uh, in, in, uh, in the variable. Python is a case sensitive. So if you have x, lowercase is different from x uppercase or capital uh, letter. So you need to be careful with that. That can cause so many difficulties if you are not following uh, the case of your variable. Uh, the length is, is, should be reasonable length. Yeah, you cannot come with a long variable that you cannot spell it right, and every time you write it down, you, you have difficulties to remember the full uh, text. So use uh, reasonable uh, length uh, to, to that. And there are some reserved, as I said, characters, like percentage, like other things, uh, which cannot be used in, uh, in the variable name. Throughout the course, you will use so many variables and you will notice uh, uh, how that can be done. Now, with the variables, we will do some calculations, okay, or operation, or what they call it, arithmetic uh, uh, operators. So, in, in math, you know, we're adding things together, addition, you know it, sub, sub, subtraction, 
uh, multiplication, uh, you multiply numbers, you divide numbers, uh, modules, and exponent, uh, something to the power something, two to the power three, two to the power four. These are the arithmetic operators that you follow and you, you use to do calculations. So, if, for example, if you want to add two numbers, you want to add A and B. You say A plus B, and then you store the result in a new variable called Z. So Z now our new variable that stored the uh, addition of the two numbers. And the same thing you will follow with all different uh, components. Now each one of these has some um, specific use. Uh, addition is clear, uh, subtraction is clear, multiplication is clear, division is clear. The one may be new to you, maybe you didn't use before, or the modules, would you divide a number by another number, and you get uh, uh, the remainers of, of, of the number. Um, when you do your calculation, you have, uh, there are certain uh, arithmetic operators has a priority, means the computer will do them first before doing the others. So usually the brackets, which people use it to, to force the, the computer to follow certain sequence are done first. So the brackets are first, then the exponent is the second, and then multiplication, divisions, and, and the others. The least are the plus and minus, so they are done at the end. I'll give you an example of, of that. You have done this, I think, in the mathematics some time ago, but again, it's important that you understand it. So if you have this simple uh, calculation, x equals 17 divided by 2 multiplied 3 plus 2, what will be the result? The computer will start by the division. So it will divide 17 by 2, will get 8.5. Then it will multiply it by 3 and get the result uh, next one, which will be 25.5 and then add the two to get the final result. So it started by division, then multiplication, then addition. And that the sequence, and you need to keep this sequence in your mind. If you want to force it to do uh, adding three and two first, you can put these two plus uh, three plus two in brackets, and then they will be done first and that means 5 will be multiplied by the result of 17 divided by, by 2. So that sequence is very important. Let's look at some examples. In our square, which you enjoyed with, with Ali, drawing the square and so many different uh, shapes, um, you noticed we have the length of that square is always 100, yeah, in that example. How we can change it and make it variable? Variable means something that change. Okay, so if you introduce a new variable called L, and you notice here I'm using uppercase L. If I use lowercase L, it will be a different thing. So L equal 100, and then replace everywhere I have that 100 now with L. So next time I want to run the program, I can just go and change that L to 200. I don't need to change it in every single line. If you have a long code, it will be difficult to change everywhere. And then this way will, will uh, L variable will replace uh, uh, the hundred. Now later we'll find some something called functions which we can create and also take those variables. Let's look at another uh, uh, e examples here. Assume we want to ask the user to enter values: first value through the keyboard, second value, and, and then do some calculation. In Python, there is a command or a function that we use called input. So input, it allows the user to input data, but the data the user will input will be treated as a text or string. Next step, we need to convert that uh, text into numbers, and we have different type of numbers. One is the integer, we have seen the example of L, which just whole number. And the other one is float, where you have a decimal point. 
So we're assuming here the user will enter decimal point, so he will put uh, maybe the price of the components. So we're converting it to a float. So we have A equal float A. Python is very flexible uh, in, in variables. So if you have a, a text or a string variable, and later you want to, to make it a number, it accepts that easily. In, in Java and other languages, you will not be able to use the same variable. You need to come with a new variable. So now A equal float A, converted that input into a number. And the second line is the same where we look at B. So we're saying B equal input, and the user will enter another value for the second number, convert it to float, then add the two numbers together and store it in a new variable called total. So total now has the result of uh, the two and then print it on the screen. The command to use in, in, uh, in Python to print is print. And you can see I have two parts of that print. One is a quotation where I say total equal. This is just a text will come on the screen as it is. And then comma total. Total is uh, the variable that came from the previous line. You can scan this QR code and then you will get uh, access to the ripple and you'll get live uh, this example where you can play with it and maybe you can add a third uh, input from from the user now we understand data types uh, which we talk about the three main primitive data types we'll be using with numbers and text and then uh, string and then uh, objects and you know how to create variables and how, wh how you name those variables. Um, and then you know how to do some operations on them, do some calculations on, on, the, on the data type. Now, go and use those concepts and do some more practice. So you look at uh, some examples and we have for you here on the screen some examples that you can look at it and you start practicing uh, your, your knowledge. I hope you find the video useful and see you in the next video.